Okay, so we've taken the time to annotate uh, some notes that I, or actually my textbook that I downloaded. I went ahead and I also downloaded this uh, blending learning, blended learning PDF, and I kind of want to just show you when you annotate something, what kind of happens with, let me just kind of shrink that up a little bit so we can see. Um, the textbook I don't want to screw around with because quite honestly, that's the only cover, that's the only copy of the textbook I have currently. So didn't really want to mess with the textbook too much, but let's say I go ahead and uh, I annotate, I'll just put in some highlights here. I annotate, now it's good to know this is OCR on it too. So I'm annotating this. Uh, this piece and I go ahead and I close it and I go back to the library and you'll notice the icon has a little uh, kind of like an orange recycle symbol to it that's because Dropbox knows that I've changed this this file and w what what uh, I annotate is telling me is that I've got a different copy of this file on my iPad different than what's on the Dropbox so here's the idea behind syncing. I've got two files here. One I've worked with, you know, www, that's my textbook. The other over here, this blended learning. I have annotations on both of those pieces. If I go ahead, oh, man, I didn't want to open that up. Go back to the library. If I go ahead and I click on the little recycle piece, or you might even see it up here in the top corner where it says two, a red two with a circle around it. Same idea. That's basically saying I need to do some syncing. If I click on that, I can have a choice of check for updates or upload changes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload changes. And you'll see down at the bottom in the gray box, it says uploading blended learning. Here's the problem with this process. As a teacher, if teachers put stuff in a shared folder and the students pull it from the shared folder, all your students have access to that shared folder. Okay, so the process I'm thinking would be this. You give them access to the shared folder they're going to annotate it which is kind of what I did with the textbook and I'll show you what I'll do there in a second but let me go check back in the blended learning now here's the problem this blended learning file is forever changed it's, it's forever has my highlights on it so that PDF now always will carry those annotations with it so bad scenario a student comes in grabs something from a, a, a shared folder annotates it up, does whatever they want, and then they sync it up to the Dropbox folder. Your PDF file has been corrupted at that point. Um, as of this recording right now, I'm, I'm going to look into how to lock something out in Dropbox to make it read-only. I think is probably the way I'm going to try to, to solve that issue. Uh, but before, you know, before we get into locking things out on Dropbox, you've got to get the students into the habit of opening it up, they can do their annotations, but here's that extra step. If they go back to the library, okay, they're going to select, I'm sorry, they're going to select intro to www or whatever piece that they marked up, and they're going to move it. They're going to move it to some kind of folder structure they have on their iPad for I annotate PDF. Um, they can put it right straight in the library. So I'll say I'll move this to the library. And I go back to the library. And you'll notice I now have the, the text. Let's open it up. Let me close this one down, and then we'll open up a fresh copy. And you'll notice it's the PDF file with all of my annotations in it. Okay, so now they actually have a copy of that PDF file on their iPad for future use. I think that's probably the process as teachers we should go through. Have them go to the Dropbox, go to the shared Dropbox, and open up a file. Now, if I open up this www text over here from the Dropbox, this should be, and you'll see it's downloading, this should be the textbook without any annotations in it whatsoever. So we'll go through this process. They'll All the students will download whatever PDF file you want them to have. It's taken a while because the, uh, the PDF file in this particular case is a pretty big file. And it lights up. And let me just check something here. <clears throat> and this, if I notice off of my thumbnails, I go to the bookmarks. There are no bookmarks. There are no annotations. Okay. So they would download the file and then immediately go to library, hit it, and then move it before they even start annotating. So they'll move it to, uh, move it to the library or 
Yeah, so I could move this one to the library again, but then I'd have two copies of it. But you get the idea. You can also copy as well, which is probably another good idea to be able to do. Um, but I, I would move it to the library. That way they have a record of it within I annotate the whole entire time and they have access to it. So more to come on the Dropbox piece as it relates to I annotate and uh, other apps that you've got. But again, that process again is very important. Have them open it up and for now have them move it to their library on their iPad and then that way they can always have access to it through I annotate. Hopefully that makes sense.